How's it going guys? Thanks again for clicking on my video and it is nice to be back. Been a little away for a while there, busy with kids and life and if you guys follow all my social medias, which you probably should, follow me on Instagram, Facebook and uh, yeah, I post a lot on there if I don't have time to make videos but uh, yeah, life's been busy. But we're getting out here today for a good reason. It is my dog Wendell. It's his birthday. So well, it was his birthday about a week ago now but uh, we never got a chance to get out. Gonna get out here and enjoy these beautiful trails here. Uh, we're gonna hit up the Memorum Cook Trails. Let's go for a nice loop. Stop, make a nice lunch for my guy. Got a nice steak for him. And uh, I get a lot of questions when I I go ATVing here and they wanna know places to park. Uh, I'm guessing the uh, DF and Memorum Cook Club made this new parking area. As you can see all around me, I'm the only one here right now. But it is uh, La Vallee. Rude Lavalie Road. It's a uh, highway 126 and it's the highway that goes between Dieppe, which is that way, and Memorial Cook, which is behind me. So if you guys are looking for a good spot to park and leave your vehicle, uh, this is it. This is usually full, but today's a Monday and I have Monday off this week. So I, uh, there's no one else here, so it should be good. Wendell's ready to go. He's already been ripping around here. Did about five laps around the parking lot. I have a cool new thing. It's a little thing I can hook a camera onto him. So thanks a lot, uh, Brute Force Explorer, for sending me that. I appreciate it, man. And uh, we're gonna give that a try and I'll stop gabbing. Let's get going. And they got some uh, signs up here, you know, just keep the noise down if you have one of the bike with a loud exhaust. Well, actually, this is part of the Dieppe Club. So the Dieppe Club must have put this in. And they got, uh, they say they have some cameras set up. Took a quick peek around, I didn't see any, but they say they're there. The 3030 trail is going here to the left, back towards uh, Dieppe. That's where the Dieppe shelter will be down here, but we're gonna keep going this way, and this should be the 2901 trail. They got these nice gates in here now, too. These look great. Keep the trucks out. New Brunswick Highway 106. I might have said 206 earlier. I don't really remember. That's where the old parking used to be, but that's not anymore. They got a nice list of all the sponsors. But yeah, check this out. We got some snow there in the last couple days. The groomer's done grooming, so we won't be seeing that out anymore. But uh, there should be a good enough base down that should be pretty good going. Well, unfortunately for me, the second I took off down there, my uh, tripod fell and the plastic snapped. So, I'm hoping that I can use the Gorilla Tape, which just fell on the ground, and get this on here just to get me through the day. This Gorilla, gorilla Tape is good stuff. It doesn't have to be pretty, just has the lasses trip. Should be good enough. Yeah. Yeah, another good reason to have a good uh, a good kit with you. I showed that in a different video. A bunch of different parts to my kit. So uh, if you're interested in that, check out my channel. All right. We got the uh, tripod fixed up. We're back on the trail. 
<laughs> the snow is flicking out window. You don't like that. It's uh, really nice today because the snow is the real wet kind, so you get good, really good traction. Also, I'm running about uh, three or four pounds of air in my tires. I can't can't tell for sure because I don't have a uh, like a low psi air pressure gauge. So I might have to pick one of those up if somebody knows a good spot to get one that actually works because I've been having bad luck with pressure gauges. Just getting to the T in the road. It kind of tells you, you know, you got DFs behind us. Irving and Norm's Pizza, so if you want to get gas or pizza. Lake Shelter, Beaumont Point is this way. And uh, Shelter Lador. Le Lourdes, I don't know how to say that. That's a that's a French one. <laughs> I get a lot of questions about uh, do some things on trail etiquette, so I might do a whole video on it sometime. But uh, one here in the winter, if you're driving on, uh, especially if you're on groomed trails, is it's always good to run your machine in four wheel drive. Uh, it may seem you may not need it. Like right now, I definitely would not need four wheel drive. But uh, what it does is it limits the amount of spinning you do, which uh, will get you that either that jerky motion, especially going up hills, you get a lot of that. You'll even see it in the summer where machines have been spinning and then gripping and spinning and gripping and they, they make like a, it's almost like a rumble strip right going right up the trail. So if you run your machine in four-wheel drive, you won't, uh, you won't do that as much. So yeah should apologize for being away for so long I have put out some gear videos and shed stuff but no real riding videos I explained it earlier there family comes first this YouTube thing comes second but really really been trying to I want to put in more of an effort to try and build my channel so starts with you guys so thank you very much for always supporting me and asking where I'm at and uh, if you guys could share my stuff any chance you get, that'd be great. It really helps uh, get some new eyes and maybe some new subscribers. And of course, check me out on uh, Instagram and Facebook. I like Instagram a lot more than Facebook. If you guys message me, better chance of getting a hold of me on Instagram. I don't, not a huge, huge fan of Facebook, but. I, I do go on from time to time. I gotta pick them up here because this is kind of a driveway to a sugar shack, I believe. So we'll grab them here. <laughs> How was that? I forgot to mention too, old Wendell here, he's turning seven years old. Or he turned seven, I should say. So he's getting up there. The amount of deer tracks through here is just nuts. Crisscrossing over this road. Another little trail etiquette for me anyways, is I don't understand why people drive in the ruts. If you drive outside the ruts, it's a much smoother drive. You're gonna end up flattening the trail down more. If you stay right in the ruts, you end up contributing to the trail uh, becoming uh, decayed away a bit and stuff. Sometimes you can't help it, but if I can, I usually try to ride outside the ruts. You guys can see those, uh, all these tubes going through the trees. That's all collecting uh, maple sap. We boil that down, make some maple syrup. So we're going to try and find a spot to get in, have a small little fire. Cook up a steak for me and a steak for Wendell. For his seventh birthday. It's crazy, uh, I've had him for seven years, I feel like it's been like three. <laughs> Ever since you have kids, man, time just seems to f fly by. Like, I can't even keep up with it anymore. Well, I can see some headlights. I got uh, three ATVs coming at me. So I'm gonna try and find a spot that's decent to pull over. I think probably right around here is as good as ever.
let's see what we got. We got a Can Am to start, and we got a Honda, and a Polaris maybe. No. <laughs> Said, hey, Wendell. Wendell's freaking famous, man. Nobody knows me. They just know the dog. Oh, I'm going to try and get up here. Got that. Just beautiful through here today. Trail's really nice. I mean, you got the two ruts, but it's not terrible. Still nice and smooth. Wow. This is a new camp. Well, new, I've never seen it, but look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Love that, uh, the stain that they have on there too. Jeez, that's beautiful, man. What a spot. I don't know if I'd want to be this this close to the trail, or that close to the trail, I should say. So I'm just pulling in here to the uh, one of the warming shelters here. Oh, well, I'm not even going to try and say that. Cachette, la cachette. I'm not sure uh, what that translates to. Uh, maybe I'll uh, let Wendell out and I'll uh, show you guys this spot too. I know I've shown it in a video before. <laughs> Take it easy, buddy. Take it easy. There you go. Go run around. Yeah, I've shown this again in uh, one of my older videos. But yeah, somebody's getting after it in here. Twisted T's. Got a little bit of firewood left. Inside, I'm sure, out in that shed. It's, I think it's locked, but it's probably firewood in there too. We got a radio. Some nice person ripped the speaker out. People never cease to amaze me. But yeah. Just your basic warming shelter, uh, split an axe, saw, broom, beer cans. <laughs> but yeah, that's your basic shelter. Little spot to come in and get warm if it's cold or if, say if you broke down and you want to spend the night here you definitely could get the fire going and sleep on one of these not a comfortable sleep but better than sleeping outside all right la cachette I'll have to ask the wife how you, how you pronounce that. And I think I'm pretty close. I kind of just pulled off here, uh, see how how I would make it in through the trees, and I'm making it pretty good. got pulled off uh, the trail here I test tested it over by that shelter and uh, I was able to drive on the snow no problem at all so uh, drove a little bit farther down pulled off here Wendell's 
should be good. There's lots of uh, lots of dead and twigs and stuff here. I don't need a big fire, just something to grill up a couple steaks. I got a nice rib steak for myself and a steak for Wendell because it's his birthday, like I've been saying about 10 times now. So today's all about him. I wanted to get him out and have some fun. So we're gonna get the, get a little fire going and I'll get back with these in a bit. As you guys can see, you got the fire going pretty good there. I brought uh, those little sticks from home there just because I wasn't sure exactly what kind of firewood I'd find. And uh, we're gonna grill them up on my Bitty Big Q folding grill. I get a ton of questions about this one. This one was sponsored, so thank you very much, Bitty Big Q. I use this on all my trips now because it folds up so small. It's a little cleaning thing inside, but uh, yeah. She just comes right apart like that. And you just fold the legs down. And that's a nice piece of kit. They do have an Amazon store. And uh, yeah, they're a big sponsor of my channel, so I really appreciate it. Gonna have a little cup of coffee, warm the belly. All right, got about half his steak cut up here. Don't know what'll happen. I'll end up eating it too quick. Hey, sit, stay there. Ugh. All right, man, happy birthday, get it. Good boy. Good boy. All right, my steak, I'd say is done. Fire's pretty much out, it's through the last little piece of wood I brought with me on. So I don't have to bring it home, but uh Wendell had his steak, he liked that. It's all gone. Well, had to uh, leave that steak on there a little bit longer. She was pretty much blue. Now it's pretty much perfect. Let's get a little sense. These are steaks from uh, Baudreau uh, Meats, Baudreau Farm here in Memorum Cook. So where I'm riding is where this meat is from. Nice smoky flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Snow is melting really bad now. I'm getting pretty wet. I'm gonna I'm gonna hurry up and eat this, and uh, I'll have to get packed up and get out of here so we dry off a bit. Oh man, these ste this steak is delicious. I don't know if it's just out here in the woods, it tastes better. And if my dad's watching, which I know he is, I'm not going to say this is the best steak I've ever had. He says I say that too much. This one is good though. All right, guys, that's where the fire was. She's all put out with water and pee and then a bunch of snow. And I packed her down, added more snow. Wendell's getting cold, I think, because we're not moving. So I got to... Everything is soaked here. Probably picked a bad spot, but uh, we're gonna get going. And yeah. <sighs> I 
But yeah, we're going to head out this way towards Beaumont Point. Maybe check out Beaumont Shelter. I don't even think I've ever been there. I can't remember. And then I might, on the way back, I might swing over to the shelter where they usually have food and stuff. Maybe I'll post a few pictures of some of the food they do there. It looks delicious. I never got to go this year, but definitely going to get there if they do it this summer or anything. So if, can you guys see my bike rocking back and forth? See what it's doing? That's what I was saying, where people go up these hills in two-wheel drive, and they spin the whole way up, and it creates these kind of like rumble strips, like uh, like you see on the side of a highway. And it just da -da 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 the whole way up because it's the bike spinning. But if it's in four-wheel drive, it's very it's uh, less likely to do that. That's why I run four-wheel drive in the winter. <clears throat> I try to. Sometimes I forget. I'm sure, there's video of me not in four-wheel drive. This is the shelter. One of the Memroom Cook shelters. Somebody was here, looks like yesterday. So this is called the Beaumont Shelter. Yeah, I can honestly say I haven't been to this one yet. <laughs> Come on, bud. So yeah, I got a USB plug-in, it says up there with a, like a car battery. You got a timer here for the lights. Yeah, nice little stove. Always lots of beer cans. <laughs> the wood needs to be filled up. How's she work anyway? Turn it on. I don't know. Don't think they're on. But, uh, yeah, anyways, this is just a basic shelter. Come in, get warm, have a beverage. <laughs> All right, we are off. Glad I was able to find that. I've never been into this one. Not a bad little shelter, but the trail in was beautiful. Man, I am glad I went this way. This trail is amazing. All woods covered. Just beautiful. Oh, I ran back into like the snowstorm and I got someone here walking their dog on the ATV trail so I slowed down a lot. Ah, beautiful dog. <laughs> oh, Wendell didn't like that. I don't know why that lady wouldn't be holding on to her dog, but no leash. I mean, I'm fine with that, but if there's an ATV coming, you should probably hold on to your dog. <laughs> and that's the fear aggression I was telling you guys about with him. He's not scared of any other dog, which is scary for me, because... He's not that big. And this is uh, the inlet to the, which is the river that goes right by the city of Moncton, where I live, Dieppe, Moncton, Petticodiac. And uh, we're going out to the point there now. Pretty well-traveled uh, road. I know it's popular with the trucks and stuff like that. You can go out there. Hey, we'll go out there. I kind of missed the turn. That's over there would be the uh, road to go to Hillsboro, where old Evan is. Just getting out here to Beaumont Point.
right where that pile of logs are is basically where uh, where the lighthouse used to be. Yeah, not a bad spot. I tell you, it feels really nice when that sun hits you. It was getting, I was wet from back there. I could feel it in my back. That's probably the worst spot to be wet and then you get cold pretty quick. Yeah, not a bad little spot here though, eh? This uh, sun stays out, then I'll probably break out the drone. Taking off here from Beaumont Point. All right, taking off from Beaumont Point, like I said. And uh, we're gonna loop around this way, head back the same trail I took for part of the way and then I'm gonna branch off and go check out a uh, shelter shelter I've been to before but they recently put a new epoxy floor in so I wanted to go check that out and show it to you guys yeah this is uh, downtown Memram Cook a nice little town to be honest with you good people very very accommodating to ATV ears so yeah there's the Irving if you need some gas there's a car wash and uh, I think that's Norm's Pizza over there I could be wrong though I can't remember if that's Norm's or if Norm's is down the other way oh yeah how great is this been to this shelter before but uh, like I said I want to come in and check out the work they did to it Wow, looks great in here. Check out this new floor that they put in. It's the uh, epoxy flooring. 
Looks great in here. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes they got uh, toolbox canteen open here. You can see all the stickers. I maybe I'll get one of mine and put it on there because more people would see it. I think. No other. Oh yeah, right here. Check it out. 506 uh, side by side and ATV YouTube. Cool. I follow those guys. You guys should give them a check out too. From the trail improvements, 362,000 from the government. Looks like. Kind of cool. They got the a little side by side and ATV cut out there. And there's the uh, sponsors. A lot of them. Takes a lot to keep uh, keep this type of stuff open. Actually, just seen uh, that one right there. That's Boudreaux Meats. That's where I got my steak from. Lots of wood there from all the blowover. Nice. We're gonna start making our way back to the truck. Fun at daycare today? Papa is it? Huh? Papa work. Papa was at work? Nah. Nah. I Papa was out on the ATV, but mum. What sound does Papa's ATV make? Mum mum. Whoa. <laughs> hey. Say hello everyone. Hello everyone. <laughs> 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 Hey, Colin. Hey, buddy. Aren't you handsome today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>